Right now, many American families are struggling financially. The latest News Nation Decision Desk HQ poll shows nearly 60% of respondents say it's either very or somewhat difficult to make ends meet. This comes as home prices are up more than a third since 2020. That's according to Moody's Home Price Index. And mobile home parks are seeing an increase, too, with massive rent hikes in some areas. News Nation's Marky Martin joining us live now from a mobile home park in Dallas. And Marky, you've covered skyrocketing rent prices all across the country, and now it's impacting mobile homes. Yeah, hey, Nicole, it is hikes that you're talking about. They're now pricing people out of one of the last remaining affordable places to live. Mobile home parks not even immune from these soaring costs. And you know what? It's leaving a lot of tenants in places like this confused and wondering, well, where do we pivot now? This shouldn't be happening at all. It's happening a lot. It's happening a lot. America's mobile homes feeling the effects of a competitive housing market rife with surging home prices and rising rent, leaving residents with few options. I'm going to a shelter. About 20 million Americans live in manufactured homes, making up about 6% of U.S. residents. Demand for affordable housing, low supply, and an increase in corporate owners and developers, all driving up costs. It's getting tougher and tougher. We have jobs and it's just not enough anymore. Hayden Conover lives in a mobile home community just outside Dallas. Since January, he's watched his lot rent go from $500 a month to $690. It's changed everything. I mean, I've tried to find new jobs, got to make more money to cut back on certain things, not go out to eat as much. Those like Conover not only pay more in rent, but also more for mobile homes themselves. Census data shows that during the pandemic, the average sales price of a manufactured home rose nearly 50 percent from $83,000 to $123,000. Just last month, Iowa lawmakers fought to give mobile home residents longer notice of rent increases or non-renewals of leases. The governor signing those protections into law. However, it does not limit the frequency or amount of price hikes. I think it's a step in the right direction, but I don't think it's a final step. And Nicole, in many of these cases, mobile home owners are frustrated. You know, they own these units, but they miss out on a lot of home ownership. Uh, like locked in interest rates, tax breaks, appreciation values. And say their lot rent increases to a number that they can't afford. Moving these mobile homes at times can cost up to $15,000. Nicole. Wow, yeah, those are some big price hikes for a lot of people. All right, Marky, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.